everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are testing out another primer. I have like now all of a sudden become obsessed with testing out primers. I know I've only done like one video of this primer series journey that I'm on. I have like at least 10 primers and I'm I'm so excited to try all of them. If you're new to this primer series, if you hadn't seen my other one, I tested out the Ordinary's High Adherence uh, silicone primer. I'll have that one linked down below. But what I like to do for these is, I think I'm not in the center. Okay. What I like to do for these is do one half of my face with primer and one without. So it's not like I'm just testing it out all over. And then it's like, ooh, I think this is better than when I don't wear primer. Like we are going to see in real time if one half is better than the other. And I'm really just testing out what its claims are and if it really makes a difference compared to not having it. The one that we're testing out is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is such, such a popular primer on YouTube. I think I've used this twice on camera, and the last time that I used it, it was uh, me transforming into an e-girl, which I will have that video linked down below. If you wanna see what happened when I used this primer, go check out that video. It was very interesting. So I don't know if it was just like a fluke or if it was actually this primer. So that is what we are testing out in today's video. If you're wondering why my eyes are already done, well, they're not done, but you know, the top is done. It's because I'm also filming, playing with the Tati palette. So I will be finishing that video after this one and I'm not sure which one will be out first. Anyway, back to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. For what it is, it is a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract. Milk Makeup is very into their cannabis stuff. Um, all day hydration and hold. Highlighted ingredients. Hemp derived cannabis seed extract. It hydrates and smooths the look of skin while providing antioxidant benefits. Blue agave extract, which forms an invisible layer to grip makeup, smooth the look of texture and seal in moisture. We will definitely test that because I have pretty dang textured skin. And then prickly pear cactus extract and aloe water hydrates, soothes, and calms the skin. Um, I do get like pretty red. I'm like the type of person that like, well here, I'll just show you. Why not for fun? I'm just going to do that and um, there will be a red line there in a second. So I have sensitive skin. I need some calming sometimes. Anyway, I don't know why I did that. Um, what else you need to know? Formulated with aloe water, blah, blah, blah. Clinical results. 93.3% skin feels more hydrated. 100% of subjects agreed that skin feels smoother. 100%? Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, that is insane. How big was their sample size? Okay, well, whatever. Maybe. 93% um, of subjects agreed makeup went on easier. Wow, look at my neck. Let's just freaking put the primer on. Okay. With these, I really like to zoom you guys in because I want you to see if these actually work. That's the point of this video. So here we are, nice and zoomed in. Don't mind all the glitter fallout I have on my face. And you can see I have pretty enlarged pores. I had acne when I was younger and I still have a friend on my face now. How exciting. I have glitter all over my hands. There's glitter literally everywhere. On my legs, on my hands, on my face, on... It's just, it's gonna be in my makeup today, I'm sorry. So I am just going to do one pump because we're only doing half the face. I don't think I need more than that, but I guess we'll find out. And we are just seeing if this lives up to a type or not. I know that Nikki Tutorials is obsessed with this and so is Jackie Ina. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm making sure to really only get it on one half. And that one pump went the entire way. Oh, it's gripping. Like, look at that. It's crazy. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a second and see if we see a difference between the pores and the redness. So I guess let's just hang out for a minute. It's been like 30 seconds. Do you guys see a difference yet? I feel like I just look shinier on this side, no, than this side. I'm not seeing a difference in my redness at all. If anything, I feel like my pores look even worse right in here because it's shiny. Okay, you know what? 
we're just gonna put some foundation on and see how the skin looks after foundation. So I will be using my Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I use this in the shade 020 Rose Beige. And I will be using a damp sponge. I know that Jackie Ina likes to use a foundation brush to put on her foundation with this primer, but then Nikki Tutorials uses a sponge, so I guess it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna do this side of my face first. That way we don't get like any like primer transfer, possibly. Wow, this sponge really soaked up all my foundation. Ooh. It definitely feels tackier as I'm putting the foundation on. Like I can feel my sponge like gripping to my face more. That sounds weird, but that is what I'm feeling. Let's take a look. I hope it's not getting too dark out. I'm so sorry if it is. We will be doing like a check-in and better lighting once I'm done with all my makeup, just so you know. Um, I don't get the hype around this primer. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my pores look worse, like right in here. I, I don't get it. Seriously, I know I don't also, by the way, have like foundation right here. Um, it's because I put concealer there and I don't like to put extra product there if I don't need it. Anyway, right here, I trust me, in person, like I'm hoping it's picking up on camera, but that one looks worse than over here. Like you can see my pores more over here than over here. I don't know if it's because it's still shinier and it needs to dry down, but okay, it's happening again. I swear. Okay, I had an itch on my nose, so I itched it, and then, oh, apparently I use itch twice. Okay, I itched my itch, and I get red, as you could see by my neck. What a perfect thing to show you. Um, so my nose got red, so I like took my sponge and went over it, and now it looks so bad there. All right, maybe I'll try to cover it up with more. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't like this primer. It, this side, like look around my nose. And I even spread it over here to make sure that I was like being even with it. And I feel like this side doesn't look as bad as this side. Do you see that? It looks so cakey like right in here. Whereas this side, it layered way more nicely. Is that how you say that? I guess I just need to like stop messing with it. I don't know. All right, I am just going to go put on some concealer and powder and then we'll come back and look at it again. So I just went and used my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair and then I powdered with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. And let's zoom back in a little bit. You totally see my dog's ears right there. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. To me, this side still looks not as blurred as the side without any primer on it. Like right in here, I'm telling you, I swear my pores look worse than over here. Same on my chin. Right here, it looks worse than over here. There's way more pore texture on this side than this side. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Once I finish up my makeup, we will go downstairs in better lighting and really get up nice and close and see what's going on. Okay everyone, we are in front of a different window now, and yeah, my makeup is, I'm gonna say it, it's awesome. So uh, if you want to, again, see how I got this look, I will have it linked down below if it's already up or it's coming. So there you go. Sorry if my hand's shaking, this camera gets heavy quick, okay? I'm weak, leave me alone. Um, ba ma 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 right around my nose it still looks cakey as hell right there it's not good and do you guys see a difference in the pores this also says it's hydrating but i feel like i use so many hydrating products in my skincare and also i have oily skin but jackie Ina has oily skin too so i don't know no, I still say that my pores look worse on the primer side. 
How's the chin? Because the chin wasn't looking good before. I still say it looks a little worse right in here. Even down in here, I feel like it looks worse. I don't understand. And it's... Mm. I forgot to mention the time when I started this. I think it was around two o'clock. It's now around three and we will continue on. All right, check in time. It is about 7.30 right now. I'm going to show you what is going on even though it is not much. Uh, oh yeah, I'm washing my bed sheets. Look at that, go wash your bed sheets. Anyway, okay, well first off, I was outside today and that girl is on a pogo stick, wow. <sighs> okay, I was outside today and being a little active and I had to wear my sunglasses, so I have really bad sunglass marks on both sides here. I would not say that one is worse than the other, so there's that. Also, pretty positive my foundation has oxidized a crap ton but that's besides the point. Again, just like last time at dinner, my family and I played guess which side the primer's on, and my brother and sister-in-law both said that this side had the primer, which is the side without the primer, because they said it looked smoother. Chris also, my husband, also guessed that this side was the side with primer because he thought it looked less cakey, so pretty much the same things that they said last time, um, but this time all three of them were wrong. So I don't know what that's telling you about this primer. <laughs> I feel like this primer doesn't do anything. And then I've only ever had bad experiences with it or it does nothing. So I, all right, see you in a couple hours. Just kidding, I decided to come back because I went on Sephora's website um, to read reviews just to see how everyone else was feeling about this. Pretty much all of the five star reviews said that it made their makeup last all day long as opposed to whatever they're normally using or without the primer. To me though, both sides, again, look very similar. So I just wanted to tell you guys what people on Sephora were saying, um, just that it was definitely hydrating. Some people were passing on it because of it being finicky with other foundations and concealers, and other people were saying it made it last all day long. I guess as we continue on through the night, we will see if my makeup does last longer on that side. That's it. All right, everyone, it is 11.16 and, oh, I forgot. Well, my brother and his wife are sleeping, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet, but I checked my face in the mirror. They look exactly the same. Like, if anything, my pores now look very, very similar on both sides. I don't think it looks worse on this side anymore. I think they look pretty much the same. I have to pee so badly, but I want to do my check-in first. Um, so here I am. If I'm moving around a lot, that's why. I'm like doing the pee dance right here, right now. Okay, awkward. Um, anyway, so my pores pretty much look identical on both sides. Um, here, I'll even like zoom you in a bit. This is cute. Um, but I think they look very, very similar. And as you can see, I'm pretty dewy. But I would again say that the sides look exactly the same. They have the same amount of dew on them. It's not holding up any better on this side than it is on this side. So, like, look at that shine. There's shine there, there's shine there. <laughs> I guess if anything, if you have dry skin, this seems like it would be a really good one for you. I do not have dry skin, I have oily skin. It has great reviews on Sephora, so you know, if you're looking into this product, continue to do some research, check out other people's reviews. Um, but from an oily skinned girl, here's my opinion on it. So I think that's gonna be it for tonight. It's late, I need to go to the bathroom and I need to wipe off this makeup. So if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. Videos are every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, my foundation and powder all linked down below. But if you're curious about the rest of my makeup, um, I think this will be up first. So it's coming. And there you go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and go have a good one. Bye. But I am so excited. I have so many primers. Oh, mm. okay.
Maybelline can can sealer. If you like this, get, mm, and I have the uh, below. If you're cre <laughs> um, I gotta get moving. Okay, I think my eyebrow is doing that thing. Okay.